You may know him as Anthony Sullivan, but most of us just call him Sully. He is known as a pitchman on television for products like OxyClean, but he has taken on a new venture and it is very different from the products that he was selling on TV. It has to do with cannabis and in particular CBD. So Sully, tell us a little bit about how this venture came about and what got you to this point. Um. Uh, it's it's quite a long story, but I'll try and make it. Uh, I'll try and condense it, if you will. Back in, um, I have a ten year old little girl. Uh, she's ten now, and she was seven back in uh, 2018. And um, she was uh, she has special needs. She was born with a rare genetic disorder. Um, it's it's so rare; it doesn't have a name. It just has a number. And she's had multiple multiple health issues uh, that included seizures. And she was on a pretty heavy pharmaceutical medication. Um, and in mid 2018, I took on a rafting trip and I just watched, I'd watched my daughter's personality deteriorate uh, physically and mentally, and mental health. So I was on this rafting trip. She lost 20% of her body weight. She lost her personality. She talks, but she doesn't talk like you and I would talk. And her way of communicating with me was through her personality, right? And that literally vanished. This, this medication she was on erased her personality, so her mom actually was a big advocate for CBD and I didn't really know much about it at the time. And at first, I, my initial reaction was no, cause I was like, I didn't want my seven year old to be high. That was where I went. I'm like, I don't, you know, just that was, and then I slept on it for, for one night. And I said, look, I, whatever we have to do, anything's better than the meds she's on. Um, so um, her mom is a clinical psychologist, practicing clinical psychologist. She's very smart. She did a lot of research and we ended up weaning her off the medication and, and, and on to a CBD um, you know, she's obviously on some, you know, other wellness products, but primarily with CBD replaced the medication for her. So miraculously, serendipitously, coincidentally, I found myself going with a buddy of mine up to Vermont and I, I ended out, it was, it was harvest. It was uh, just after Labor Day in 2018. And I found myself standing in the middle of a hemp field and it was for no particular reason. I'm just standing in this field. And I, if I ever had a, a moment in my life when I'm like, oh my God, this is the plant that's making the medicine that's helping my little girl. I want to become a farmer. So we bought a farm, 116 acre piece of property. I got, I, I, I got uh, commandeered a friend of mine that I'd known for uh, 20 years. And I, I, neither of us had any farming experience. We bought a piece of land, we tested the soil, we went down a UVM, we bought 116 acres, we bought 66,000 seeds for 2019. The mud season was a, we had a really wet uh, spring. We built three greenhouses, we bought a tractor, 55 miles of irrigation, and we started what is Mont Cush. Um, and in a nutshell, um, here we are in 2021, we made it through the pandemic, we've had two seasons, we've grown about 150,000 plants, we've uh, maintained our Organic certified USDA organic certification, which is a big win for us from a guy who knows nothing about farming. And we uh, we went through a, a very unique extraction process, a solventless extraction. So um, Montcush is the name of the farm. Montcush is the name of the CBD company. And I'm very proud of it. Um, like I'm, I loved what I've done in my life. OxyClean. So we pulled it off. Um, it's been a heck of a journey. We filmed everything along the way because I right, thought this is a show on Vice Television, correct? Correct. Yeah. Um, I had a relationship um, in my uh, infomercial days with my good friend, Billy Mays, if you remember Billy. Hey, Billy of Mays. Of course. Uh, we had a show called Pitchman, and I was very friendly with the executive producer of obviously that show, Pitchman, with us on Discovery Channel. But he also did Deadliest Catch and I for a trucker. So I said, Tom, listen, I'm going to start farming. And he's like, are you crazy? I said, maybe I'm crazy. I said, but we should capture this on film which is one of the reasons we picked Vermont because we loved it up there. And also it was the same latitude as, uh, as Oregon pretty much give or take a couple degrees. And it was also a very prog progressive state when it came to, you know, becoming a hemp farmer. They were one of the early adopters on the East coast. So that's interesting that you kind of tried to replicate the Oregon growing over in Vermont because Oregon's known for having some of the best plants. But it's incredible what these plants do in 120 days. You know, the, the speed and the, and the, which they grow and how full and the beautiful flower we get. One of the challenges we have in Vermont is uh, the, early, the early frost. Uh, we had a very early frost this year, which um, we had to pivot really, really quickly to, to get our tops off. And I can tell you something that's really special. I have people come up to me and tell me they love OxyClean. It makes me feel great. I'm like, oh, good. I'm glad, you know, it gets stains out, whatever. But we've had people come up with our, our particular um, Montcush tincture and, you know, just these incredible testimonials. And it just feels so great to be involved in something that 
when you get a testimonial, it's generally about someone's health and well-being. It was something that was really important to me because I wanted to understand it and I also wanted to be taken seriously. I'm like, if I just do this, right, and white label something. Right, just put your name on it. Anyone could have done that, especially yeah. someone, you know, I got marketing background. I could have just gone and got some isolate and put Sully CBD on it and boom, it would have been very simple. I just brought some bottles back. We were out in Los Angeles filming and um, I just brought some bottles, uh, bottles back to my little girl and I each night I just put the little dropper and put a little dropper underneath her tongue and I call it her medicine. And she doesn't talk, like I said. But um, it makes me feel great when I just give her that little drop and I'm like, this came from daddy's farm. <laughs> well, I think it's wonderful. I'm so happy that you were able to get your daughter some relief. And as you said, there are other people out there that you clearly are able to help. So thank you so much, Sully, for, for taking that time and effort to create your farm and create your product. And thank you for taking the time to speak to us at Green Market Report. Yeah, no problem. Thanks very much for having me. I appreciate it. And anytime you want me to come back, I'll be happy and I'll, I'll get you a couple of bottles in the mail, all right?